Hi everybody, this is Tuesday Moriarty and I'm here to do a flip through of a journal that I've made. I've named it Breathe because I just feel like a lot of us need to do that right now. I know I do. And um, I used a kit from Lorna at TaylorMade Journals and the kit is called Into the Woods. Um, I had a little fun with it, playing with it and making variations on it and everything. And I think it came out really cute. I have Sorry Silk Closure here with the post hitch there. I have a plate that I've made on front with chipboard and some silk over the edge. This is Lorna's graphics here from the kit. And I just typed the word breathe and um, put a, a nameplate there. I have some cheesecloth back behind here. And this is what's it called? Seam binding. This is upholstery fabric that I made the chipboard cover and spine myself. These are Tim Holtz corners there, metal corners. It's approximately five and three quarters wide and almost nine inches, not quite, nine, eight and three quarters tall. And the spine is two inches. So this is what we got. I have um, a lot of danglies on the edge here, a lot of charms. I'll show them in more detail later. And let's get going. Let me go and stand up here and take a look and make sure I'm positioned properly. Yeah, that should work. Okay, let's do this. So I got a seam binding closure. It's a kind of chunky book. This is all sorry silk along the edges here at the edges of the pages i just love the way they flutter and inside i have sorry silk along here with upholstery fabric here this is an antique this is some what is this stuff called i forget what it's called a trim i guess it's a trim this is an old doily Here's a little teeny book I made. It's got some uh, fabric and, and lace and cluster there, and then different papers inside. The music paper and the green painter's paper, and coffee paper and tea paper. And it has a different cluster on each side. And that just goes, fits right into this little pocket. This is Lorna's kit right here. My papers from her kit, as well as these tabs here, are included in the kit. This is a graphic that I just shrank down. The backing of this stamp here is something that Donna at Junk Journal Ideas has, and that's in her shop. I'll put a link below. I'll put a link below also for the lady that makes these little flowers here. I have to look her up and find her. I'm going to search and find her, her information, but I know I have it. And this on the back here is also part of the digitals. Oh, little sorry silk. This is, I printed coffee dyed digitals that was part of my digitals on the back. And I also went and stenciled. I have a lot of little pieces of avocado dyed paper here. This is tracing paper that I go and color with magicals. I do that a lot. And so I have this throughout the book. I have some butterflies. Most of the butterflies through the book are um, Andrea at Artie Mays. They're hers. And I have some others in there as well, I'll point out. And this is just coffee dyed paper that I've done. I made this book super grungy because I know I love the grunge. This is a, a cluster, fabric cluster. This flips out. Can you see that? That flips out. And we have a little Tim Holtz guy there that I made into a fairy with um, Andrea's wings there. I just have um, music paper and paper napkin and music, just piano paper and music paper, just a cluster there of different things. Here is a time card that my friend Dee Dee, I got it from her, she has them in her shop, I believe. A little fabric cluster there. And on the back side, I made a little pocket with another cluster and um, this is some music paper that I avocado dyed and it has some real frets from 
when I was first learning guitar on the back. I don't remember what song it is, but that's how I learned to play guitar. So there's some of that. And this is really shrunk down, shrunk down pages from the kit into the woods, Lorna's kit here. And I just shrunk them down and made a tiny little booklet out of them. And I put that in the back there. And then this fits in here into this envelope that I turned into a pocket. And there you go there. And this is the other side of that coffee dyed paper that I made. This is an envelope. Whoop. This is a, a journaling card. Again, with the butterfly from Andrea. And these are Tim Holtz die cuts that I just put on book page and collaged on the back to write on. This is one of the envelopes in the kit. Look how pretty that is. What gorgeous graphics. And that's her on the back of this that she built her graphics on top of was um, eco dyes that she had done. Gorgeous, gorgeous eco dye papers. And in here, there's just a little Tim Holtz calling card and a little avocado paper. So I'm just gonna put this stuff aside so we're not going over it. This is straw paper that I get from Rachel, uh, Roxy Creations. She has it in her store. Links to everything will be below. Got a little tuck there. Some more avocado dyed paper here. And um, a card I made with the magicals that I did on tracing paper and then I put napkin on top of here, on top of a file folder. These are my coffee dye papers and stenciling. This is um, Edith Holden. This is a pocket that comes in the kit and it comes where this is white here so you could put something on it and leave it solid or I cut it out so I could see, you know, the graphics through that I made on this weekly time card that I coffee dyed. And here is another tag that I made with coffee dyed in the back and star silk. This is a book page, but right here are the graphics that from Lorna's kit and I just cut them out and put them on. And there's some napkin behind that. I have Wink of Stella throughout the book. It's, you know, just a teeniest little touch of, of shine in it because I have my little fairies that I've made from the Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz paper dolls. And I put Andrea's and some of Nick the Booksmith's wings on and some of um, Tim Holtz wings as well. And so I kind of put my fairies throughout the book. This is Lorna's eco dies here. How pretty. And what I did is I cut these birds out of a book that is from called North American Songbirds. And I cut birds out from there because they really matched her birds that were in the kit. And I cut some of those out and just stuck them on branches and stuff. Um, here at the end, I have a bumblebee and a butterfly here dangling down. We got Tim, not Tim Holtz, Edith Holden, a bird right there and some more coffee. This is a Tim Holtz paper doll and Tim Holtz wings. And no, these are not Tim Holtz flowers. This is flowers from another book. Got a little fabric, little fabric flip here. Got some more um, avocado dyed paper that I did. And a tag I made with some coffee dyed on the back and some more wings and paper napkin there. Some more of my coffee dyed papers. Here's a pocket that comes with the kit. I don't I don't know if you can see the tiny Winx's of Stella that I put along the bottom here. So I have a pocket in the back here as well as here. And that's one of the dyed index cards from Dee Dee, Dee Dee Frago. Uh, three precocious dames, two precocious dames, two precocious dames. And I will have her link below. Another card I made. Or tag rather, I guess. Some more of my magical tracing paper, some washi. These, there's a bunch of these in the kit that are, it has like white on the front here and I cut them out 
and they're meant to be cut out i think but you can just put images on front or whatever you want to do and i get these pressed flowers from a shop in canada and it's called it's i get them from janine at perfect pressed floral i'll have her link below and i just made like a slide sample there and this right here is from annette campbell and it's just it was an extra she put in on a swap that we had and it's gorgeous and i've been waiting for the perfect place and i think this is it Thank you, Annette. Look at that. Look how pretty, look at those colors. I adore this. I just love her colors. Love how she did this. This butterfly is in a happy mail. I, get, I got from Musings by Mickey. And I will go and put her link below. And I just put the, the little sparkles on the center of it there. Got the sorry silk on the edge. Again, my tracing paper. Here is a, a, a slide that I have. And again, I put those flowers in from Perfect Pressed Floral. And I mean, it looks great. I love it. More coffee dyed paper, some music paper. And I cut out these birds from the kit and I stuck them on there. This is also from the kit that I pulled out. Not this, this is a, just a stamp, but this, and this is part of the kit. This is cheesecloth. This is just a, from a paper pad. I don't remember which one, I've had it forever. And I just put one of Dee Dee's cards on the back, index cards, and this is from a phone book, you know, my, that I had since I was in high school. <laughs> so, I don't know. I kept stuff knowing I was gonna be doing journaling someday in my life. I don't know what to tell you, but I have all kinds of stuff like that. So I'm putting them in journals. It justifies me holding on to all this stuff for so long. This is postcards that comes in the kit. It's got a beautiful bird's nest over here and these thistly flowers. I love it. So that's there. Again, this is painter's paper. This is another one of those little tiny booklets I made from shrinking down the pages. It's just so pretty. And these little, little teeny white flowers are so delicate. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying. We'll see what happens. So that's, I'll put that aside too. Edith Holden. My coffee paper on the back of Lorna's papers. Look at this. I stuck one of her birds here. But look at this graphic. Look at her, her eco dive. How pretty. Then she put her graphics over it. Wonderful, just wonderful. Again, some more burrs. These ones are from the book, but this is from Lorna's Digitals, and I cut them out, and I put them on the green masking, painter's masking paper. I just thought it looked really good. You know, when you get these kits, you don't have to just leave them the way they are. Once you buy your kit, you can get as creative as you want to with it as far as changing and cutting out and pasting and mixing with other things. It's a lot of fun. You can be super creative. Tim Holtz die cuts. I stuck on an index card. There's a pocket from the kit. These are other pockets from the kit. And I have a Tim Holtz paper doll and a Artie Mae's wings. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Little um, blue, blue eggs in there. So pretty. And I put that on music paper. And then I have a, what is it called? Journaling card and another journaling card in the pockets here. Here I have a CD case that is from, gotta remember the name of the company. There's a three dogs one. I will find out. I have it all written down and then I didn't bring it with me and I'm not gonna go get it. I will have definitely links for everything and what they were down below. But she does, I've done a, a video on buys, Etsy buys, and this is in one of those videos as well. She does beautiful, beautiful work with her coffee dye. And I made a journaling card 
and has one of the birds to the kits and some music paper and some digitals, ripped up papers in the back. Gorgeous. And it's got a little cluster here. Again, with the cluster with those flowers. This is an envelope I made from um, one of Edith Holden pages. You can see inside, woo, you can see inside the end of the envelope. Very, very pretty. And some more, what is that paper again? Avocado dyed paper. Then we're here again. Get this stuff out of the way, not distract you. So another one of the paper dolls with some more wings and the eco dyed papers from the kit. So beautiful. Just a couple more pockets. Another flutter by. A couple more cards. Did I tell you? I didn't tell you. Did I tell you this book has five signatures and it's um, approximately 100, 140 pages. Another pocket in the kit, just a journaling card. This is Tuck here with some sorry silk. These are graphics from, from the kit. It's got a little cluster here. Some more graphics from the kit down here. This is, comes in the kit. This is a, a small file folder that I just lined with coffee dyed paper. This is one of the birds from the kit. I also resize things. Some things I made bigger, some things I make smaller. Because that's one of the things you can do when you get a kit, you can resize things. I have a stamp, and again, on the back of the stamp are the stamp blanks, I guess you would call them, from Donna's shop at Junk Journal Ideas. I'll have a link below for that. This is one of the postcards in the kit, and I used beeswax and heated it. So it, I don't know if you can tell. I'm trying to, what can I stick behind here? You can see. It's translucent, where her other, you know, when you saw the other postcards, they weren't. So that's really neat. It's very, very smooth, very slick feeling. It's nice, very nice. We got another envelope. I did a lot of envelopes in this journal. And this one is a nest with the eggs. I have a cluster on the back. This is in the kit. And I made a journaling card and it's got lace on it, some flowers, and I have a pocket back here. And got some little dragonfly papers. This stationery I've had since I'm in high school. And some um, embossed papers that my girlfriend gave me, my friend Sue. She gave me a bunch of little embossed cards. We have another one of those tags here. And this one, I cut out the white space that was there, but instead of putting a window in, I mean, as far as, cell not cellophane, what's it called? Acetate. I went and just cut, I used beeswax on another piece of the kit, and I just put that in behind here. So this is really slick and shiny. And I stuck a eyelid in there, bulb pin, Here's a cluster here and a little flower again, straw paper again, another butterfly, some more of um, the kit here that I cut out. And this is, this is the um, cheesecloth that I went and just stamped and made it darker so it's more mossy looking. Another envelope. This one I made out of music paper. I have a cluster on here with one of Lorna's birds. Sorry, silk. And it's back here, some more sorry silk, another one of the birds. 
then inside we have some more paper this is Lorna's kit papers I put another one of her birds here and I got another paper doll with wings another fairy It's another one of the real flowers that come from Perfect Pressed Floral. This is some more of my tracing paper, another pocket from the kit with a little journaling card. Some more flowers on music, I mean, birds on music paper that are from the kit, not the birds on music paper. Here's like that big bird that was on the bush. I made it bigger and I just cut it out. And then here I have that same bird that's with the kit. And you see how it, how Lorna made it into the kit. This is much more of her graphics. This is one of her pockets. And I put this other graphic on there from that other book that I told you about, The Songbirds of North America. Here's a tag that I just did some stamping, a couple of different stamps on it, and some sorry silk up top. And this is another tag with some stamping and napkin on it. And the same thing here. Those are my two favorite napkins that I use. Let's see what else we got. Oh, look at this. I got some Nick wings on this one. Nick the booksmith. And see if you'll see that I had cut out these and put them in other places those mushrooms and put them in other places in the journal look at that wonderful another this is all tim holt's little cluster i put together some more of those mushrooms another envelope i was in envelope mode for this one and this little bird here i'm not going to be able to tell i'm pretty sure on camera you're not going to be able to tell I don't even know if I'm blurring you out. I have a brand new camera, I mean, brand new phone, and so I don't know if I have my setup right. But anyway, this bird's got a little bit of depth to it. I put some fluff back in there before I glued down the paper bird. So it's got a little round belly and wings. This was actually, in the kit, it folded down and I made it into an envelope. Anything in there? Oh yeah, there is. This is, eco dyed from Gail Augustinelli. I had a little piece here. I just thought it was gorgeous and I just put it in there to journal on. I'll have a link to her below as well. Now we got this here, this tuck here is a tag that I received as a gift from in a happy mail from Nikki Adigan at Musings by Nikki. It came with the butterfly that I showed you earlier. This is, you know, just from a, a, a store-bought kit. And this is one of the tags. Isn't that pretty? I don't know, can you see? I got shaky hands. All the tiny blue flowers there and tiny pink flowers there. I love it. Makes me happy. This is a feather I made. So I just put it in like it's a bookmark. Use it as a bookmark or put it on wherever. I thought it was kind of cool with all the feathers in three. Oh my gosh, look what I've been forgetting to show you. Here. I got a B here and the word imagine. And on this one, I have some beads and made with love. And on this one, I have some more of those beads and a dragonfly. Now we'll go back. Yes, I skip around. That's how I work as well. I jump all over the place. Last, is that where I'm supposed to be? Yes. Last signature. This is... Tim Holt's um, paper doll, and I put Tim Holt's wings behind her, made her a fairy. So there's fairies throughout. 
he fairies and she fairies. Another envelope that comes with the kit with all the wild strawberries. Strawberries? No. Yes. No, raspberries. Raspberries. And here, that's it. Slide. That's the word I wanted before. Here's another slide. Only this one is a different one. And I put two of the images from the kit. I shrank them down and put them on either side. This was this kit was a lot of fun. Here, another little sample thing. One of the tags from the kit. A little seam binding on there. Got a little bit of sorry silk here. Little flower that's on the straw paper. And here is another pocket from the kit. This is pretty, pretty, pretty white flowers. And I have a tag I made. And that's that little teeny bird there is the same bird as right there. I just shrink it down. Blowing up, shrinking down, whatever works. So that goes in here, I believe, yes. And then another postcard. Look at that. I love it. I'm a sucker for nests and birds and eggs. Look at this. Look how pretty. Look at the eco dot and look what she added. It's just so pretty. Some more beads and a little, I'd say that's probably a ladybug. You hold in another file folder so that's a more journaling space there's plenty of journaling space throughout this book I mean I got a lot of envelopes and pockets and everything but there's still plenty of clear space to journal there's a tag I made I put the word breathe on it again and sorry silk and this is um Tim Holtz cutouts on it and a tag from the kit And a glassine little bag, and another bird from the kit. And a tuck here, and this this was a card, a journaling card that came in Happy Mail from Dee Dee at Two Precocious Dames. And I just made it into a tuck. This is from the kit, another postcard. I just grunged everything up a bunch, it made me so happy. Another piece of paper from a notebook that I had for a skillion years. Another tuck that I made. This I made this out of napkins and book page. Different napkin. My two favorite napkins again. And this is from the kit. The birds there, all the delicate little white flowers. And here I did the same thing with the beeswax. So this has just a different quality to it. I don't know if you'll be able to see behind here that this is, you can see through it, it's translucent. Avocado dyed paper, my tracing paper with magicals. Here's the last little fairy. Those are Nick the Booksmith wings. And here I close it with another one of these little, little booklets, doily booklets, I guess you would call them paper doily booklets with old clusters and music paper and coffee dyed paper and masking paper and yeah. So that's it. I will have links to everything below. Um, I had a great time making this. It's been forever coming making my video. <laughs> that's my weak point, not the making, it's the videoing. So here, I'm really happy with it. I'm proud of it. And you know where you'll be able to find this. Links will be below. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.